Hi, today I will briefly explain the whole level span. First of all, Bob prepares classic random variable X. The random variable X produces classical information, a uh, little x, where the little x is in one to n. The random variable generate each value x according to probability distribution P of x. Uh, this probability distribution is a public knowledge. Bob does not tell his x value to Alice, but Bob encodes each classical value x into quantum state. We express, the, we express this quantum state as a density operator, rho sub q to little x. Bob can prepare this whole package as an ensemble equal to a set of probabilities and the corresponding encoded quantum state. Bob hands this ensemble to Alice. Then Alice makes a measurement on each encoded quantum state. The goal of the measurement for her is to learn about what classical value little x Bob has. So Alice performs measurements on all encoded quantum state in the ensemble. Alice can retrieve some classical outcomes, uh, little y sub one to little y, y sub n, and its, and its corresponding probabilities. Uh, through her measurements. Of course, her measurements change the original uh, encoded state to a post-measurement state. But Alice does not care about this post-measurement state uh, because she's busy learning about Bob's classical value little x uh, with her measurement outcomes. So Alice saves her measurement result in a random variable y. Here's a question, how much information can Alice learn about Bob's random variable X uh, through her random variable Y. Recall this question is to decide the mutual information between X and Y. Moreover, Alice wants to maximize uh, her mutual information because she can optimize her measurements. Then finally, this maximum mutual information is the accessible information of the ensemble. In other words, it is the information Alice can access about Bob's random variable X. This quantity is upper bounded by chi. We call this chi is the Horleber's bound, uh, which Alexander Horleber published in 1973. The Horleber's bound is equal to this formation of entropy. First entropy is the entropy of the expected density operator of the ensemble and minus on average of all entropies included quantum state. We can simplify the expectation of the ensemble to rho sub q. Finally, the whole levels found is the uncertainty on the q register in the expected ensemble minus the average of all entropies of encoded quantum state. This is an excellent result because Alice can quantify her accessible information about Bob's random variable X uh, without uh, measuring through the information of the given ensemble. Uh, thank you for listening. God bless you.